And now you hear the word, oh, gold digger. As soon as a woman starts talking about, oh, I need a man to provide for me. I need a man to take care of me. The first thing you, you start hearing these leashes and these low life people start saying, oh, she's a gold digger. So what? Girl, in 2024, you need to get your mindset right and be a effing gold digger. Do not settle with a man that cannot take care of you. A man that cannot provide for you. Why would you waste your time with somebody that will not provide for you? Because for whatever reason you marry that man, you will be the one looking after your children. Not just physically like caring for them, but emotionally as well and financially. It is a man's job to care for his woman and for his family, provide for them. My father had up to... Growing up, my father had like four wives. We live in this massive house. You understand? The wives in the house, they have their businesses. They have their shops. You understand what I'm saying? They were doing their thing. But my father was the one who built the massive house for everyone. He pays all our school fees. We were 22 in number, ladies. 22 in number. My father was paying all our school fees. You understand? What I'm the wives, they do not know... Like every time the school resumes, my father he buys all our books. The wives, yeah, they don't know where the they don't even know where the bookshop is. It is my father's duty to do all these things. Do not settle. <laughs> I cannot tell you what it is for you as a woman to be with a man and be taking care of yourself in a relationship and telling me he loves you. Ah, girl, if you do that in 2024, I'm coming for you. Girl, do not settle. Never. Don't pity a man. Never. Because the man that you pity is the man that will go out there to sleep and dump you for another woman. The money that you are saying, oh, let's save money. He will use that money and give it to another woman. Never, ever pity a man. You better be a gold digger. And don't let anybody intimidate you with that word, you are a gold digger. Hone it. Own it. I am a gold digger. I deserve to be taken care of. I deserve to be provided for because you are a queen. In 2024, that is what you will do with yourself. You will sit down there and you will allow a man to take care of you. If you are in a relationship, if he is not the kind of... Because if he cannot do it now in this relationship, he will not do it when you are married. Because he's already programmed to say this is a low-maintenance woman. You understand? She will do it herself. Ah, she's strong. Oh, she's a very strong woman. She would do it. That is the beginning of the end of your life in that relationship. Don't. Man should provide for the woman that he is in a relationship with. As well as married to. Now, I know there are people who would say, Oh, but you're not married to her. Why would you spend money on a woman? Why would you ask? Like, why would you ask for policy if you will not take care of this woman? Why would you? Seriously, why would you? Before now, this generation, I'll tell you this, yeah, this is one of the most messed up generation, messed up generation in terms of relationship, where a man thinks that it is no longer his duty to care for a woman. Because women started asking for more pay. Women started asking for equality in workplace, which is fair. You understand what I'm saying? It's not right that a man and a woman does the same job and a man gets more money than the other person. And the policy of the company says, oh, we are fair. We take care of our, our workers the same way. We make sure everybody works in a fair condition. Everybody gets a fair wage. And then you look at John's pay slip. He's getting like 500 quid more than you. That's ridiculous. So I think it's fair for women to stand up for themselves and say that we want to work. I want to have some money in my pocket and I deserve to be paid as much as a man is being paid for the same job that we do. So I don't know why now men or certain men are taking that to relationship and say, oh, because you guys were asking that you want to be equal with us in the workplace. You guys are asking for more money. You guys are saying you want to work. So now you provide for yourself. We don't want to provide for you. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Goodness me. Girl, girl, listen, I have no business with such men, but I'll tell you this. Remove yourself from a situation where a man does not look after you.
If a man is dating you, there are certain things. I'm not saying he has to pay all your rent. I'm not saying he has to do this and that for you to take care of all your family. It depends on the capability of the man. It depends on the beliefs of that man. It, be, it depends on his values. And there are some men who would date a woman. They would do all these things for the woman. And there are some men who would not, who would do certain things. But do not date a man. Or being in no more relationship with a man, I mean dating, and a man will not give you shit. Don't. Because when you marry that same man, he will not do anything for you. Because then he will expect you to take care of yourself. Do not make that mistake in 2024. Now, if you are married, if you're already in that kind of situation, I cannot help you. Because marriage dynamic is kind of different. Especially when you have been in that kind of relationship, marriage-wise, for a very long time. It's not really kind of easy to retrain that man to say, listen, you have to be a provider. That is why this video is for you. If you are not married and you are still dating, you are still playing the field, you are still trying to talk to one of people, collecting data to say, okay, let me see who I'm going to be with. This video is for you. In 2024, for do not date men who do not provide and if you are in your 30s if you are in your late 20s and you're thinking of getting married you understand what i'm saying why you are vetting this man vet is pocket vet is values towards money is it the kind of man that will make you pay half for everything you have to know these things. Don't be shy to ask. Because if you do not ask, you are going to get problem. You are going to run into problem later in a relationship. Video is all about the low maintenance woman. Now, let me tell you what I mean by the low maintenance woman. You as a woman might have your own business, have your own job, which is actually, it might actually be a good job. What you are doing, what you are making your money, you are just living your life and you meet a guy and you guys are dating and he doesn't spend crap for you all through your dating stage or you guys are talking and having fun. You are paying your way, he's paying your way because you have the money, you feel like, okay, I don't need this money. I've got my money. Girl, you are a low maintenance girl. Even though you have money to spend for yourself, you are a low maintenance. And it will continue to hang around, hang around you because you cost him nothing. And, a, and when you do not cost anything to a man, a man will stay with you until he sees the woman that he wants. And sometimes they might even marry you and feel like, okay, she will, she will be the one. I won't be doing shit for this house. Even when we, had, when we have kids, she will be the one buying clothes for the kids. She will be the one paying because she has the money to do it. So you are basically a low maintenance woman. And bitch, I'm a bad bitch, I'm a bad bitch. And you are dating a man and the man doesn't take care of you. He doesn't spend anything for you. And all you're saying, oh, he loves me. He doesn't. It's going to stick with you because he's not spending anything. Nothing is shaking his pocket. So why not? You are low maintenance. So I'm telling you, in this 2024, you understand, even if you feel like you don't, you are not in that category where you have enough money or you just have your normal job like normal people. In 2024, do not date a man. Do not date a man that will not provide for you. That is not providing for you. If you're already in that kind of relationship, girl, you need to check yourself. Now, let me check you on something. If you are in a relationship with a man, yeah, and he wants and he feels like his mentality is for you to be in the house with him and you have to pay 50-50 for the rent. Girl, move. Quickly move. Fast, 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 fast. Leave that relationship. Do not settle down with a man that will make you pay half of your rent. Don't. Half of the rent that you guys leave. So when you marry, you're going to be the one that will get pregnant. You're going to be the one that will... He will tell you, oh, I cook, I clean. That is the lie. They lie when they're dating you. As soon as you enter the marriage, those are the things they don't... Do. I mean, ask married people if you think I'm lying. 20%, only 20% of men who are married only does these things. 80% do not clean their house. But when they are dating, they lie. Oh, I love to clean. Oh, I love to cook. Mm-hmm. And they do it when you're dating them in their own houses. But as soon as they get married, as time goes by, they don't do it anymore. And you will be surprised. Is this not the same man that used to clean up and down? Is this not the same man that used to cook up and down? No, you are already there. So imagine you doing all these things. Giving birth to his children, cleaning the house, doing shopping, you know, putting things away, doing all this. Because being a wife and a mother is more than a full-time job. And on top of that... You are paying after rent. <laughs>
In 2024, you need to check your relationship, girl. You need to check where your mind's mind is. Check his mentality. So now that we're going to get married or in the future, what do you think of a man and a woman paying bills together? What do you think of that? Check it. If it's not something you are comfortable with, do not go into that relationship thinking the man will change. Because people tend to think that when you marry someone, they will change. They do not change. They even get worse because they will become comfortable with you. They will do all kind of nonsense with you. You understand what I'm saying? Now, what are you going to do? And now it becomes messy when they are kids. So you will be thinking now, so how, what do I do with these kids? Because if it were just you, you can just pack your bag and say, that's it for me. But when you have kids, you start thinking, especially when the kids love their dad, you start thinking, should I leave him? How will this affect the kids? Should I, am I going to disrupt my, disrupt my family dynamics? Do I, am I going to be a single mother in terms of taking care of these children by myself? You know, what legacy am I? There are so many things that become messy. So darling, now that you are dating this man in 2024, before you enter, check his mentality. Is he the kind of man that will make you pay half the rent in the house that you both live? If he is, do not. Now, let's talk about now that you are dating him. When you guys go out on dinner, does he make you pay half? If he does, leave him. In 2024, go for men. Let men who are ready. Because there are actually men out there who take pride in providing, nurturing protecting a woman i will tell you this because sometimes yeah people women you hear women say oh there are no good men out there there are no good men out there all the men out there they are rubbish no they are good men i'll tell you this they are they are good men out there because no one is your problem you are your problem your mind is your problem because you have lived so long in the survivor mood where you have been in a relationship where the man has never really taken care of you, where a man has never really provided for you. So you everything you see, you grab onto, you hold onto. You understand what I'm saying? And you allow it to... You have that scarcity mentality, thinking there is no good man out there. Allow other women to project their fear into you, to say there are no good men out there. Oh, not this man out there. Nobody provides. They are. They are. And that is why I need to recommend this book to you, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. This book changed and continued to change my life. You understand? If you can, because all you need now, yeah, if you are doubting what I'm saying to you and thinking that it cannot happen, read this book. If Because if your mind has been messed up for a long time, you need to read this book like three times. Go back again, again, and again. You need to unlearn so many things in your mind and how you see life and how you see things around you it will help you to recondition your mind to attract the kind of person that you want in your life when i was dating yeah i dated a few people but one thing was this i never wanted a man that goes to club you understand me men that will go to club every friday is 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 in the club it will go there friday saturday sunday you understand so it's in every party there were certain characters i did not want in a man you understand me? And I work, I was working on myself and I was working on my subconscious mind to say, I do not want this. I do not want this, but I want this. I want this. I want a man. I want a father. I want a man that will take care of my children. I want a man that will go to work or go to his business and come back home to me. A man that will be faithful to me. You understand me? Because marriage, the things that you want might be different from the things that I want. One of the things, two things that I want, a man that provides and a man that will respect me, even apart from the respect, be faithful to me. You understand me in that relationship? I cannot tell you that my relationship is perfect because there is no perfect relationship. You understand me? But there are certain things that I expect for my relationship that I think that I'm okay with because I see those things in my relationship. Of course, there are ups and downs. But this video is about me telling you today, sis, don't go into 2024 in that kind of shitty relationship with that kind of mindset of thinking that there is no good man out there. Don't. Because you are going to waste the rest of your life with men who do not care about you. Men who do not provide and who will never provide for you. 
And now you go on the internet and you see girls talking or you see ladies talking about, oh, I'm a bad bae, I'm a bad bae, I got my own money. Of course, it is fine to have, like I said, we call it in Nigeria, every woman should have their own vex money. You understand? Money when you are angry, you can walk away, you can go book yourself in an hotel, you can do stuff because you have your own money. You understand what I'm saying? There is nothing wrong with that. But do it for fun. Not be in a relationship where you have to, oh, if I don't work, how am I going to eat? Oh, if I don't work, how am I going to... And you have a man. No, that is not a man. And I tell you this, because murder men, or men in particular, they expect certain things from a relationship. And I think there is nothing wrong for you as a woman, or there's nothing wrong for you to expect certain things from a man, especially in providing for you in that relationship. And you test these things when you are dating. You test these boundaries when you are dating. And let me take a cup of a sip of my cup of tea. Mm. Wow. This tea is good. Now, tell them. You test these boundaries when you are dating. You understand what I'm saying? That is how you know a man that will look after you. You understand what I'm saying? You are stranded somewhere you can't leave. A man should be able to call you taxi. He should be able to come pick you somewhere by 12 o'clock. I'm not saying you should be somewhere by 12 midnight, but he should be able to. He should be able to support you with your dreams, not the other way around. You understand me? Not you building that man. Because... <laughs> When you do that, you building him with your money, building him with your co the connections, doing all these things for him. You know, men, yeah, he will grow more than you. He will grow faster than you. He will take everything you have to offer and he will do it better than you. And you know what will happen? He's going to go for another woman that is better than you in his eyes. So don't. Keep your resources. Keep your connections. You understand what I'm saying? I know there are people on this video that will come and say, oh, but why are you saying so? I am telling you, do not give a man all the information. Do not. 2024, do not date men that you'll be building their life for them. Oh, don't let them brainwash you. You know that kind of man. Oh, babes, and you are doing this for us. It's for our future kids. It's for our future life. It's for the things that we need for tomorrow. Let's buy a house together. And the down payment is, is, is like 2%. Yours is like 20%. No, we're not. Because what he want to do is put his name in your money. So whenever or wherever you like, when you want to sell that house, he will always have a cut. So no. Oh, oh, babes. Oh, it's our house. It's our business. It's our, you know, it's not ours. You understand what I'm saying? No, it's not ours. Don't be a low maintenance girl. Don't be a low maintenance woman in 2024. Make him work for it. Don't don't follow. Don't be with a man that cannot provide for you. I cannot say this enough. Nobody changes in a relationship, especially when you are married. They do not change. You will struggle in that relationship because after a while, especially when you start having kids, you will be burnt out. You will be tired. Women are not built to be caring for a man, taking care of a man, or working more than a man, or having. Because when you start having more money than your man, you begin to lose respect. Eighty percent of women do lose respect of that for, for that man. You understand what I'm saying? Especially when your hustling is tighter than your man's hustling. You begin to lose respect for that man. And you see yourself respecting other men that are doing better than you. More than the way you respect your husband for you. Work on your mentality. Stop telling yourself you are not pretty enough. Stop telling yourself you are not tall enough. Stop telling yourself you are not you are not slim enough. Stop telling yourself you are not fat enough. Stop telling yourself you don't have, a, you don't have the right body. Everything the way you are, you are perfect. You are just beautiful the way you are. That is all I have to say on this video. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to like. And I will see you on my next